So one of the questions that we're getting asked at the trade show here at Formnext 2019 is, when will 3D printing replace traditional manufacturing? And I actually don't think it's gonna be exactly that way. I think what we'll see first is machine tool-like reliability, repeatability, and performance from a machine like the HSE that works hand-in-hand -hand with CNC milling, injection molding, and other machine tool technologies. For example, let me show you what I mean. We created a, um, an injection molded part from a 3D printed tool. So we 3D printed the preform. This is with a polyamide carbon fiber material. Um, the material resin is uh, from our resin partners, BASF. And we printed the tool and then uh, worked with a, a, a machining supplier to machine not only the face to create a smooth finish, but also the ejector pin. Um, and so with, with carbon fiber parts, what we're able to um, accomplish is very, very smooth and accurate uh, machine tool-like features. And so when you put the mold together, the two halves basically ma mating together like this, and then the plastic is injected inside, and this is the type of part that's produced. So what we're seeing more and more with factory floor applications is additive manufacturing and subtractive manufacturing working together. And that's one of the things I've seen at Formnext 2019, not only from Ascentium, but also from a variety of other exciting new offerings in this space. We're just excited to see it from the extrusion side of the game. We're bullish on extrusion. We think extrusion has such a, a variety of awesome use cases and value propositions for factory floors everywhere. And so we're working to demonstrate the exciting capabilities of extrusion additive. So one of the other exciting things that we're learning how to, how to do with our customers is, is improve the surface finish for extrusion printed parts. So what I have here in my left hand is an example of a 3D printed part that came right off of our printer. As you can see, the surface is actually already quite smooth. Um, that's because of the digital accuracy, linear motion, uh, system servo motor drives of the HSE. But what many customers still want is they want a surface finish that more closely resembles that that's possible in an injection molding machine. So we work with a company, in this case, called AMT. Um, check them out. This company has a vapor honing technology, which basically go, um, smooths the surface um, of 3D printed parts so that these parts can become useful for things like uh, finished applications more and more towards the consumer space. Um, and again, consumer parts have to be smooth, they have to be clean and aesthetically pleasing. And so we're excited to be working uh, with our partners to offer this uh, technology also in extrusion additive.